What's going on guys? Back at it with another Man of Medan video. This is obviously part two and we're actually going to continue exactly where we left off in the previous video. So enough yapping from me. Do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. So let's just jump into it. Ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls the ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Well played there, man, no? That's funny. Wasn't Comrade going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he I think he's helping he Fliss right now. And then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Um, it does have a nice ring to it. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Uh, dad planet? Yeah, okay. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Why would I say no? Of course. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. <laughs> I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Uh, so you, so you can walk all over me. And uh, I love you. I love you, Alex. That's cute. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. I'm not gonna hey, walk into something, am I? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh God, am I gonna walk into something? I am. <laughs> uh, let's see, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> Oh, dude, I just definitely... So sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Damn, sis. Let him handle his business. All right. Now that everybody's here... Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Alrighty, I'm Julia now? Oh, look, it's the camera. Let's take a look at these pictures. It's only a 1080p. When did we take all these pictures? Air Rescue Service Conwin Island? Dude, this is awesome. That's a lot of bros. What are they talking about? I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. Alrighty, so, what am I getting again? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, is this it right here? Oh, that's that bullet. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Nope. Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Why does everyone get distracted on this boat? Got it. Let's go up. 
Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. I think he wanted a little extra. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brewski time. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Oh, we're, we're going to get rich. Sunken treasure. I do, I do. So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Oh, wow. dude, we're almost there then. Find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Wreck this. All of you. Excuse me? Whoa. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. They were respectful and yet they destroyed the plane. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never Whoa. thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard a story. Uh, That's not helping. Right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. Damn, Flizz this looks story evil. Is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. <laughs> the lighthouse <laughs> stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. Oh, She's snap. She's down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> he would know. Uh, Shush. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Uh, the yeah. Facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Wow. Uh so gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? Me. So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha! <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no back seats. you're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. What? Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. Whoa. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Holy crap, dude. So gross. Oh, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Yeah, that was creepy. Uh, yeah, cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. 
Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. Yep, it's it's the law. Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? <laughs> the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. <laughs> going on here oh my god who the hell is this So much for uh, defending myself. <gasps> Pirates, I am the captain now. <clears throat> Damn, dude, we're screwed. Oh, dude, it's the same dude from the boat. Damn, dude. We've been abducted by pirates. Uh, ungag. I got you, broski. Now you do me. Ungag. Oh, Julia's the only one that's been that's still Sorry, Julia. Julia. You okay? I think so. Oh crap, we're screwed. Is that the dude I hit in the head? Dude, I hate to say this, but this is all Conrad's fault. All because he wanted to be a dick. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad yeah, right. News is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? <laughs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. 
Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Oh shit. You're the little lady. Oh man. I think one of us is already gonna die. Okay, maybe I need to be a little kinder to this guy. I'm not trying to die here. Uh, here, what do you want? What do you fuckers want? That's not how I wanted to ask it. Oh no, don't kill me, please. I'm definitely not saying that. Please. Just stop, man. We'll finish with him later. Woo! I'm pretty sure I could have got him killed right there. Just the way everything was playing out. <laughs> Fuck it, okay. 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 This isn't a time to be joking around, dude. Dipstick. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. How would you know? You were not even up there. Did you see my brother? Oh shit, that's true. No, but I'm sure he's no. fine. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Do you know? I think he's under the bed. Remember the picture? And he was pretty wasted, so he probably don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Or he's probably just scared. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers! Dude, what the hell? This is crazy. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, it's a ransom. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's the least of the problems. We could buy another one. Is Conrad still tied up? Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. She's got pretty eyes. What is he counting for? He's got nice eyes too. Eight seconds. Storm's eight miles away. Oh damn! I I remember that old trick. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. And he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Yeah. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad. It's a pretty smart idea. 
Stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. But dude, the ones that stayed behind are gonna have a hard time, dude, once they notice that he's gone. I pushed right trigger. I literally pushed the damn trigger. Escape, escape, escape. You know what? I let it go. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! <sighs> oh, dude. Holy shit, dude. Oh, there go. We can't catch him with this old junker. Bring them downstairs. Holy crap, dude. That had my heart pounding, bro. Use it if you have to. At least Conrad made it out. I'm worried about these three. Technically four. Wherever Brad is. Sit. Now. Arrêtez bon de con. Fliss. Stop. Sit your ass down before that you get blasted, dude. Olsen. Come here. They found our gold. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian go? Dude, that dude is scary as hell. What's going on here? What if he dies in the water? Uh, we were only talking. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. That's a uh, pretty ignorant. How dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? I agree, that's dumb. How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Whoa. Sit still. All right. Be careful. Milan requesting weather update. 
Over. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Ah. Uh. Man, I, 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 I don't want to risk it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Man. I have to just trust in Conrad. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Yeah, go ahead and yell it out even more so the bad guys can hear it. Uh, he could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. I agree. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. I agree. I think he'll be fine. Oh my god. Dude. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Yeah, see, Conrad could have died. I know he could have. Fliss probably could have too, though. This is getting intense. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Uh-oh. Tempted? Sure. For uh... <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, "All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told." What is he trying to say? That the Manchurian anyway, gold is not gold? Now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. I think... I don't think the Manchurian gold is really gold. Or maybe it doesn't exist. Probably shouldn't have said that.
I think that's what he was hinting at. Oh, I thought we sank. Oh, I know what he's doing. They're trying to prevent us from escaping. the boat Jesus pretty sure that's the way uh, that other dude died oh yeah okay we're moving Who am I? Okay, I think I'm Fliss. What's this? Guard duty. Don't be a dick, dude. We're all gonna die together. <laughs> Yep, yeah, it definitely looks that way. Is there a door right here? Hey, hey. <gasps> Keep moving. Oops. <laughs> What's up, Alex? How's that head, bro? Was that a bracelet? What was that? Holy shit, dude. Well, uh... That was definitely a dead body. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. Yeah, me either, but yet here we are. Whoa, dude. You know, the camera angles and stuff like that reminds me of uh, Resident Evil. Like the old school ones. Miller. What are these guys gonna do with us now? Pretty sure Ransom is still the, uh, the goal here. A lot of this reminds me of uh, Silent Hill too. Oh shit! Holy fuck, dude! Woo! I'm gonna have a heart attack with this, dude. What's this? Private O'Neill. Uh, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he's got car duty. It, okay, yeah. Again, this is the third time this week. None of uh, none of us like it down here, down there. Baby Patterson should pick, should buckle up, get on it. Alrighty. Creepy. Awesome. You are both to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. 
Why would anybody want to be in here, dude? This is creepy. This dickhead just locked me in here. It's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Thanks. Well, I mean, they're not complete a holes, I guess. They let her keep in a lighter? Now we got two sources of light. What the hell is this fucking place? Uh Manchurian Gold. Okay, I to have something to do with the Manchurian Gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Probably, I suppose. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land. Without again. the distributor Talk cap? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Agreed. Pliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. You don't say. <laughs> I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Yeah, pretty well, much. Apology is kinda accepted. <laughs> cool. Cool. Oh, there's a, a. Well, there's actually a few things around here. Let's look at this first. Got this some glasses. Is very strange so some glasses is strange why is that <laughs> okay let's look at this think this, ship was? this guy Miller that seems pretty spooked all right oh wait I should probably turn it around though just in case there's something on the other side I'm really scared well, you guys can read that. I'll probably read it during the editing process. Ooh, look. Uh. Okay. Scratches on a painting. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Get out of here. I'm not going to look at the door yet. Just in case it wants me to do something, like, to leave this place. Hey, I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Monsters. Uh, doesn't feel right. Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Duh. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. Hmm. I guess he did it like a bunch of times. Why is that relevant to anything? <laughs> It doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Yeah, don't... Everybody. I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. I hope they finish me off now. Hell nah. Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. 
We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. Duh. So, what do we do? Uh, maybe... Yeah, the... Maybe that radio works. This is a fucking old ship, but maybe it still has a radio that works. Any idea where we'd find it? <sighs> the bridge. Above deck. Alright. The second we get an open, we gotta take it. I hope the radio still works. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Clearly. Just be careful. Alrighty. What's over here? Oh, I think I found our escape. Can you be any louder? Hey, look, look at this. It's literally old metal, too, so you could probably break it easily. Wait, what's this? Can't make out the first word, but gangland killing of 197. Holy shit, dude. Alrighty. Let's check out the door. I think that's the last thing we need to check out. How do they not hear all of this noise? Oh shit. <laughs> Even they don't like each other. Are they related? Kind of seems like they are. Yep. Not when your dumbass orders are getting us all into trouble. How's that uh, escape plan going, bro? What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. What is it? Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Uh, this is the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, mm, bar let's barricade. Hey, hey. Damn, somebody help her. Can I get some help with this? Watch the door open the opposite direction. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, snap. You guys want to... Oh, fuck. I messed that up.
Damn, dude. Fliss got captured because I'm dumb. <laughs> Damn, dude. I hope she doesn't die. Can I open this? What's this? Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. Yeah. Okay. It's a good time to be telling jokes there, Alex. What is the furnace? Oh, that's a washing machine. Holy fuck. Woo! I hate this game. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Julia, where the hell did you go? We need to be sticking together at this time. There she is. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. Oh, wait, there's a light it's in here. Possible, right? Right. It's a map. Okay. With nothing important on it. Holy fuck. Oh, this game. Do we go left or right? Let's go left first. Anything over here? Oh my god. Dude, that was so creepy, dude. Alright, you guys can read this. And that. Jesus, what's next? That was where he was at. Where the hell did he go? I don't even want to know. Let's just... Let's just go. You think Conrad's made it? I hope so. He's pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Uh, don't doubt your brother. Yeah. What's this? Big boat. You know, we should have figured out a plan to take out the people, the pirates. Because running around here is just... They're eventually going to catch us, and then they're going to kill us for running away. And now we're also alone on this big boat. Oh, a diary. Okay. Okay, you guys can read that. I'm going to read it during the editing process. What's over here? What is this? What the hell is that? It's a little skeleton. Holy sh it's starting to crack, dude. Keep it together. I don't think I'm gonna make it, guys. I'm gonna have a heart attack and die. Let it be known. That on this day, AG died by a heart attack. Alrighty. You guys feel free to read all this.
Oh, God. What's this? Oh, it's a picture. Oh, I'm gonna die. Sorry, Alex. Rest in peace. Pretty sure I already got Fliss killed. Oh, I don't like that sound. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dude, turn off the freaking flashlight, you retard. That's not gonna help. There's the distributor cap. Why did he just leave it there? Huh. Oh, I thought he was going to break it with the hammer. Think it's safe to grab it? We got to go get it. Yeah, I think so too, man. That's our escape right there, dude. We need it. Yeah, can't count. Yeah. Guess it's not really such a good idea, huh? Uh, what are we supposed to do here? Why did the other dude just leave it there, though? That's weird. Okay, qui est là? Je vous ai entendu. Qui est là? Damn. At least I know she's still alive. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. I felt bad for Fliss. Alright guys, we're getting very close to the one hour mark, so we're going to go ahead and leave it here. And on the next video, we're going to pick up right at this very moment. So with that being said, definitely go ahead and do me a favor and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And while you're at it, definitely hit that notification bell so that you guys can be notified every time I publish a new video here on the channel. So with that being said, catch you guys on the next video. Deuces.